In this video, we're going to talk about simple steps, magical techniques, and superpowers, and how to separate the myth from the truth about all of that. So stick with me and stay tuned. Welcome to another opportunity for me to plant seeds, shake you up, invite you to look at things you don't normally look at, and support you in discovering and experiencing the truth that really can set you free. Robert Scheinfeld here, New York Times bestselling author and creator of the Ultimate Freedom Experience. And today, we're here talking about what I call simple steps, magical techniques, and superpowers, <laughs> and how to separate the myth from the truth about all of that. So, what do I mean? Well, I'm sure you've experienced this. If you are interested in what I call changing, fixing, and improving your life, and achieving particular goals, bringing things in that you don't have, getting rid of things that you do have that you don't like, uh, having more of some of the things that you have, but you want more of, you're on that path. I call it the change, fix, and improve path. Then you have no doubt seen things that say to you a lot of stuff, you know? Just five simple steps, you know? Six simple steps. Um, and you can get what you want. Just do this, 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 and this, and you can get anything that you want. I'm sure you've seen this. And again, simple, simple steps or magical techniques. You have unbelievable amounts of power and you can create, attract, manifest, whatever the language is, anything that you want. If you just use this technique or that technique, there's a whole bunch of different techniques. I'm sure you've heard about them or you've actually used them or tried them. And that's what I call magical techniques because the promise is they're like magic. You can get anything, anything, if you just use this particular magic technique. And the corollary of that is what I call superpowers. You know, that, that you can, uh, as a human, you can just have superpowers. Again, to be able to get anything you want. Manifest anything you want, attract anything you want, create anything you want, have any life. If you can imagine it, you can have it. You know, these are the battle cries, and I'm sure that you've heard them. So we got to take a look at this, and I'm going to start out by first just making one blanket statement. None of it's true. And I don't expect you to take my word for it, but I will invite you to uh, not just think about these things, because when we're told these things, and there are what I call success stories, miracle stories, testimonials, and, and we're given reasons, you know, and evidence. These are very compelling, very powerful, what I call very sexy stories, that you have all this power, that you can get anything you want if you just use this particular technique, that you really have superpowers to be able to, if you can think it, you can experience it, you know, this kind, it's very appealing. If you just think about it, and if you then, you know, salivate, you know, and get excited about, oh my God, you know, <laughs> I hope that's true because I want this and I want this and I want this and I want that. If I can do it with, you know, these five simple steps, whatever, again, very appealing. But if you look at what actually happens in life, in your life, in the life of the people, no disrespect intended, that tell you these things and make you these promises and make these claims, even though they can give you evidence and testimonials and success stories, every system has them, every approach has them, every offer about this kind of a thing, whether it's a book, a course, a workshop, a live event, whatever, there's always testimonials and miracle stories and success stories, again, that are very compelling. Uh, but when you look at what actually happens in life, Again, I'm going to repeat, you don't just think about it, because if you think about it, it can be really exciting. But when you look at what actually happens, there's a different story that you see. And what you see is, it's never that simple, number one. It may be these five things or whatever it is that you need to do, but actually doing them isn't simple. And by the way, I don't know if you've ever studied sales or influence or persuasion or marketing or online marketing, but when people are taught how to do this, how to effectively sell things, particularly online, they're told, tell them it's going to be easy. Tell them it's going to be simple. Tell them it's going to be fast. Um, you know, and it, it's part of the whole influence, persuasion, sales, marketing thing is to make these kinds of promises. 
But, you know, again, no disrespect to anybody, but when it really gets down to it, it's never that simple and it's never that easy. And if you look at the major success stories that we see out there in the media, uh, you know, from rich and famous and successful people that we see in the media, or you look at people who are very successful in other things that aren't as visible and you look at their stories, it's never that easy. It may have been that they followed these five steps over time or whatever, but it was never easy and there were challenges and there were problems and there were dead ends and there were things that didn't work and there was all oh, they almost ran out of money before they had the success or so frustrated because everything they were trying to do didn't work and then they had the breakthrough, you know, whatever it is. But it's never that simple. It's never that easy. And so it's, a, it's what I call a lie and an illusion and a story and a distortion of the truth of what really goes on. But it's very appealing because that's what we want, right? And that's why we're taught in these things, tell everybody it's going to be simple and easy and quick that they can get this particular result because thinking that's what we all want, right? We're frustrated that we don't have what we want and we're frustrated that our past efforts have not led to the success that we want. And so when someone tells us you can have what you want and it can be quick and simple and easy, we want to believe that that's true. And so we put blinders on, we accept this thing, but it just isn't true. And by the way, is it bad that it's not simple, quick and easy? No, you've heard this before, you know, the most valuable things in life, the things that we enjoy and end up valuing and appreciating the most are not the things that came easy. They're the things where there was effort and there was time and there was, you know, oh God, I'm never gonna get it. And all uh, oh, that didn't work, oh, that didn't work, oh, that didn't work, this worked a little bit, good. <laughs> you know, and then finally getting the victory, you know? Uh, if you watch a sport, you know, and there are two teams that are playing in a sport or two people like in a tennis match or something like that, if they're winning too easily, you don't enjoy it as much. I mean, you may like it that, uh, that your team's winning, but if it's too easy, if they're just completely demolishing the other team, it's just not as interesting. It's not as fun as if the game's close and you don't know who's going to win until the end and you're having all these experiences. So it's a good thing, so to speak, that it isn't really as simple and easy and fast uh, as people talk about. Now, sometimes do these things happen more, more easily? Yes. Do sometimes do things, people get results quickly? or relatively quickly? Yes. Uh, is it the rule or the formula? No. Is it guaranteed that it's going to be that way for you? No. Uh, to me, this again is a lie, illusion, story, distortion, hype, whatever you want to call it, that's designed to sell things, even if it's true sometimes. Uh, and so the second thing, the magical techniques, there is no technique that is a magical technique. There is no technique that works all the time for everybody with whatever they try to manifest, attract, or create with it. It doesn't exist. That kind of superpower does not exist. Nobody has it. Nobody ever has. Nobody ever will. If you look at what actually happens in life. And what happens a lot is um, somebody will uh, get excited. They'll learn about a technique and they'll use it. And I'm being general here just to make a point. And they will use this technique a hundred times to try to get something that they want. And it will fail 97 times. It'll work three times. And then the mind will say, it works. Look at that. I got this and this and this. And the mind puts on blinders again and ignores the fact that it failed 97 times out of the hundred. Now, sometimes percentages are higher, but this is something um, I've measured. You know, I, I've done an informal scientific study with people of how many things over the course of a year did they try to get in their life using the typical popular battle cry techniques and how many of them did they get? Uh, or in some cases, a separate measurement was if they got it, were they able to keep it? You know, or was it just they got it and then they lost it? And the percentage of how often people actually get what they want using the techniques in general, people can have phases where they get more of what they've wanted to get than other times. But if you look, the percentage is very low. In fact, in the sci these informal scientific studies that I did, you know, it was somewhere around six to seven percent of the things that people were trying to get, they got. And there's some people from the reports that I get that have been using these kinds of supposed superpower techniques, magical techniques, and, and they never worked, never. 
Uh, this was the case in my life for long periods of time, and I had a unique journey that was designed to take me into a unique place and to teach and share and help people in a unique way. So maybe my story was designed to have more failure, you know, than what happens in other situations. But I went through decades where I tried these techniques and I had this big list. I want this that I don't have. I want this that I don't have. I have some of this. I want more. Uh, I have this. I hate it. I want to get rid of it. I have this. I hate it. I want to get rid of it. And I use these techniques and none of it changed. None of it. None of it worked for me at all. And if you, but the trick is you've got to look at your life and the lives of other people and you've got to look at what actually happens in the world and on my journey in addition to my unique experiences for myself and now working and having information on people of tens of thousands of people all over the world I see that this is rampant and I also know a lot of the people that teach these things and again no disrespect um, I, I know the lives and I know that they don't get absolutely everything they want. They don't have superpowers. There's lots of things that they want and they use the techniques and they don't get. And um, it's a myth, which is why I said this is about separating truth from myth. Now, is this bad? No, it's fine. But it's important to me. If you really want to change, fix, and improve your life, if you really want to live what I call your true dream life, as opposed to the fake dream life that most people seek, which is a, a fake dream life of something they think would make them happy that wouldn't if they actually got it. More on that in another video and other things that I do. Um, if you really want to live your true dream life, which means the life that would really make you happy, that would really nourish you, that would really fulfill you, that would really be a truly awesome life, not something you just think about, but the experience of it is truly awesome. We'll just use that language. It's important to stare the truth of this stuff in the face. Because here's the problem, and I'll, again, I'm going to do another video on this at some point because this is a big topic. What happens so often is that we're struggling and we're suffering and we're experiencing pain and we don't have the life we want and we're frustrated and we're angry and we're confused and, and all these kinds of things and then one of these things comes along hey just these five si simple steps you know just use this technique and you can have anything that you want in your life anything no limits if you can think it you can have it uh, and you have superpowers you know um, and we accept this and then we start to use it and then reality sets in that that's really not the way it works and that's not what happens and so we accepted the story of the superpowers the magical techniques the simple steps and we see that the the teacher the guru the whatever has examples testimonials success stories miracle stories and there are lots of students and people that participated in it miracle stories success stories testimonials and so what happens whether it's conscious or it's not is well, it sounded good, and it was very convincing, and uh, it worked for the teacher, the expert, the guru, and it, it worked for all these other people. I did it, you know, I followed the instructions, I used the technique, I did it right, you know, whatever. Why isn't it working for me? And then what ultimately happens is, in one way, shape, or form, different for all of us, is what's wrong with me? And we're told, what's wrong with us right limiting beliefs sabotaging beliefs maybe past lives or karma you know you did something bad in a past life and that's why this is happening now or you got something buried in your subconscious mind or this in your energy field or that in your vibration all of which means there's something wrong with you that you need to fix something's broken that you need to fix and so we go into these things wanting to feel better about ourselves and our life and wanting to change and fix and improve but so many times this happened to me and again it, it's happened to so many of the people that find their way to me they end up feeling worse about themselves because of this dynamic seems to be working for the teacher and these other people not me what's wrong with me and it isn't always conscious but sometimes it is and so it's important to stare the truth of this in the face and look at what's true not the myths, not the hype, not the sizzle without the stake, not the stories, even if they're testimonials and miracle stories and success stories. It's important to look at the truth of what actually happens in life. 
And then if you do, it starts to move you in a different direction, which I have talked more about, I will talk more about, uh, which is, well, if these things that I'm being told, the simple steps are not true, if there aren't any magical techniques, really, if I don't have superpowers, like I've been told that I do, um, then what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live my life? What am I supposed to do differently to try to live the life that I want? If that stuff's not true, what is true? And, and how do I need to change how I live my life to align with, I'll call it the big truth with a capital T? That's the big question. And that's the big question I asked because I had these experiences that I just talked about. And I kept trying the techniques and I kept trying the techniques and then a new technique would come along and I'd go, all right, well, the last 6,957.4 techniques that I tried didn't work, but this one's going to, <laughs> this one's different. And, you know, I, this one's going to work, you know, and I get all excited again. My guess is you've had this kind of experience and then you use this new technique and I was the kind of person, maybe you are, if I was given a technique, a superpower technique, a magical technique, and they said, you have to do this and this and this, and you have to tilt your head a certain degree and, and you know, put your finger in your nose and do this with your elbow, you know, I mean, whatever the instructions were, no matter how difficult they were, I always followed them to the letter. I know I did it right, but it didn't work and it didn't work and it didn't work and I, things kept getting worse and I was more and more unhappy and more angry and more frustrated. And then one day, I'm just gonna say I woke up and I said to myself, no disrespect to any teacher or teaching, I'm narrating what happened to me, and, and you may have experienced this or you may in the future, or you may look at it because I've been sharing it with you here. One day I woke up and I said, oh, wait a minute. This stuff that I've, been, that I've learned, the stories that I've been told, all this stuff about simple steps and magical techniques and superpowers and I create my own reality and all this kind of stuff, it's just not true. There's obviously something else that's going on. And I gotta find out what it is because I need to fix my broken life <laughs> and I need to get out of pain and I need to stop all my struggling and suffering. And so I got to find out what this thing is. And, uh, and it became my number one most important priority in life. And it, it took me, I don't know, I feel like saying 30 or 40 years. I'm 63 right now. And this whole thing started when I was a teenager, you know, buying into these techniques and power of your mind and all these things. Before I found out what the truth, the big truth was about all of this, and then was able to see like what I said before, okay, Here's the truth. Now, how do I change how I live my life? Now, if there's something going on that's a challenge, what's the opportunity? Um, how do I shift how I live to align with the truth instead of the lies, the illusions, and the stories about simple steps, magical techniques, and superpowers? And so that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Again, as I said earlier, uh, these videos that I'm creating I have a limited amount of time with you. So the, the point is, my intention is to plant seeds that can grow later, to shake you up, to push on what I call lies, illusions, and stories, and invite you to look at things that you don't normally look at, and to support you ultimately in living your true dream life, your true ideal life, but having it being based on a foundation, a strong, solid foundation of truth with a capital T, instead of lies, illusions, stories, and yes, sometimes hype. If you have experienced some or all of the kind of things that I talked about here, believing these things, accepting these things, trying these things, find out, finding out that they don't work the way that we're told and they don't work reliably, they don't work consistently, or perhaps they didn't work at all, uh, uh, put a why in the comments below. Yes, I've experienced the kind of stuff that you're talking about, Robert. Uh, I'd love to see um, what's going on with the people that are watching this particular video, uh, particularly if I my invitation for you to look at some of this stuff that maybe you haven't looked at or you haven't looked at with as clear vision or brutal honesty before. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments, uh, yes or no, if you've actually experienced this kind of thing. Now, I will be talking more about the truth with a capital T the alternative to simple steps, magical techniques, and superpowers in future videos. But if you'd like to know more now, right away, 
Uh, beneath this video, you'll see a link, and that link will take you to a free video-based training that I'm offer offering that will take you much more deeply into the kinds of things that I pushed on here and the opportunities and how you can get onto a different path that can lead to a different result that aligns with and is based on a firm foundation of truth. So consider that if you're resonating with what I'm saying here. And again, if you're resonating with what I'm saying here, you like this video, some of the other videos that you've seen me do, uh, please be sure to subscribe because I got so much more that I plan to share uh, through this channel and share with you in this way. So on that note, I will say, as usual, I don't know why, I just like ending things with this. Uh, I'll look forward to our next form of contact, whatever shape that takes. Bye-bye for now.